Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. X plus Y equals 8. We are going to solve this problem simultaneously. So this will be our equation 1. Then we have X, Y equals 48. This will be our equation 2. Now let's deal with this. Why don't we have equation 3? Since we are going to use substitution method. So we'll have our equation 3 so that x from equation 1 will be equal to 8 minus y. We'll call this our equation 3. Mind you, if you got equation 3 from equation 1, don't put that value of x in equation 3 into equation 1 again. You put it into equation 2. So in place of this x, I'll write 8 minus y. So we write 8 minus y. Now this is for this x. Then y is outside the bracket. And this is equal to 48. Now let's open the bracket. 8 times y, 8y, minus y multiplied by y, we get minus y squared. So that this is equal to 48. Now, from here, we can write minus y squared plus 8y first. And by the way, we can still bring this to the left. So we get minus 48 to be equal to 0. Now, we want to remove this negative. I get y squared. So that means this will turn to negative 8y. This will turn to positive 4, 8. And everything is 0. What we have done is to divide all of the terms by minus 1. Or to multiply all the terms by negative 1. So that is what will give us this. Now, let's provide a solution to this quadratic equation. We are going to use the formula. So let's get our A, B, C. A is 1. B is minus 8. And C is equal to 48. So now, the formula is... By the way, how did I get the A, B, C? A is the coefficient of Y squared. B is the coefficient of y, that is minus 8, and this 48 is the constant, and it's positive. The formula is y equals minus b plus or minus, where b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. So our y will now be minus b that will be minus minus 8 so we have negative negative it will make it positive so if that is the case then we have plus minus and continue we have minus b and um, this b squared will become minus 8 squared okay so we're writing minus 8 put this in bracket and square it if it is not in bracket then the negative will be left out right then we have minus 4 times 1 times 48 a is 1 c is 48 divide by 2 times 1 now our y will be 8 plus or minus minus 8 squared will give 64 Minus 4 times 48, 4 times 8 is 32, then 4 times 4 is 16, that will give 192, right? Then we divide all of this by 2, 2 times 1 is 2. So y will be 8 plus or minus square root of negative 128. We divide by 2. 
now y is equal to 8 plus or minus square root of 128 okay i have not written the negative right so multiply it by square root of negative 1 then we divide this by 2 let's still continue so that y will be equal to 8 plus or minus this 128 is the same as 64 times 2 then times square root of negative 1 and we divide all of this by 2 okay let's continue okay so our y will now be 8 plus or minus square root of 64 there will give us 8 then we have root 2 times i divided by 2 y is equal to 8 plus or minus we can multiply this 8 by i so we get 8i then root 2 divided by 2 y will now be 4 plus or minus 4i root 2 because 2 into 8 is 4 2 into this 8 again is 4 now this means that our y is 4 plus 4i root 2 or 4 minus 4i root 2 okay so now what do we do we had our we had our equation 3 that is um x equals 8 minus y so now that we know our equation now that we know our equation um equation um the value of y let's put it into this so x will now be 8 minus the first value of y is 4 plus 4 i root 2 this is the first value of y so um x will now be 8 minus 4 minus 4 i root 2 so that our x will now be 8 minus 4 is 4 minus 4i root 2 okay so let me cut it out so when x is this the value of y is 4 plus 4i root 2 okay so this is it and always note that if you are having something similar like this and the only difference is this positive and negative you can also say that when um, x will be equal to 4 plus 4i root 2, then y for this case will now be negative. That will be 4 minus 4i, then we have root 2. So this will be the value of um, the values of x and y that um, will satisfy the equation thank you for watching and if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so you can get more of my videos